He says, and watch this, and we know. Notice we know. We don't think, we don't guess, we don't hope. We know that all things work together for good. Now notice, don't stop there. To them that love God, A, love God, and B, to them who are the called according to his purpose. See, everything, I've heard this all the time growing up in church. Well, that car wreck, you know, it was terrible. This person died. This person was crippled, whatever it was. But, you know, we know all things work together for the good. And that's where they stop. And come to find out, in many cases like that, those people didn't love God. They weren't the called according to his purpose. Well, guess what? If, you're, if you don't love God and you're not called according to his purpose, then all things don't work out for your good. Do you understand that? Yeah. God would love to work it out for your good, but you don't belong to him. And so the devil has more reign in your life because of that. But if you come to him and love him, notice it says love him. Notice it doesn't say get born again. See, a lot of times we can take born again to mean going through a process, shake a hand, fill a name out on a card. But that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about if you love him, right? And if you love him and are the call. Now watch this. Because first off, it says we know now, notice this is in the middle of us talking about the Holy Spirit interceding for us. So when he says all things work together for the good, what does that mean? That means that everything that the Holy Spirit is praying for us will work out for the good. Do you understand that? Everything does, doesn't happen automatically. God's will doesn't happen automatically. If God's will happened automatically, he wouldn't have told us, pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We wouldn't have had to pray if it just happens, Right? And, and matter of fact, if he did tell us to pray and it was going to happen anyway, then what he's doing is he's telling us to pray vain words, which Jesus said, don't pray vain words. We'll be held accountable for every useless, idle, vain word that we speak. Jesus isn't going to tell you to do something that's wrong. Amen? Are you with me so far? Yes. 